Hey agents, welcome to the Center for the Blind. I have just cooked up an amazing PvE build that can be used to breeze through pretty much any content the Division 2 has to offer. Just a heads up, you're gonna see a lot of headshot damage on this build. But don't worry, even if you have potato aim, this build was designed so that you don't need to be some headshot genius to make it work. Also, you'll see that I'm running an assault rifle with Hunter's Fury. This may seem counterintuitive, but if you think 15% additive damage is a big deal, you are really underestimating Hunter's Fury and the Big Horn. Plus, if you've ever seen or used any of my builds, you'll know that they're not clickbait, they're not troll builds, they work and they work well. And while I explain the build in detail, you can watch me run through Potomac Event Center on Heroic. Is it a perfect run? No, but this was my first run on this mission and the only gameplay I've recorded with this build. Not cherry picked from thousands of hours of footage. Anyways, the build. Let's start with Hunter's Fury. This is a gear set that excels in close quarter combat. You get 20% amplified damage just for being within 15 meters of an enemy and an additional 5% on kill for 10 seconds, which stacks up to five times for up to 25% more amplified damage. So that's a total of 45% amplified damage you can get from Hunter's Fury alone. On top of that, the three piece bonus gives you 20% armor and 100% health on kill. That is a lot of damage and a lot of survivability. As for the attributes, you'll want to roll headshot damage on every piece. Jumping onto the Bighorn. This, in my opinion, is by far the most fun assault rifle in the game. High rate of fire, tricky recoil, and a ton of headshot damage. On top of having the highest base DPS of all ARs, its talent, Big Game Hunter, will give you an additional 100% headshot damage. How does it work? Hit a headshot, get a stack. One stack equals 2% headshot damage, maximum 50 stacks. The great thing about these stacks is you don't lose them over time. Until you reach 50 stacks, and even then, as long as you hit a headshot every four seconds, you'll keep all 50. On top of the 100% headshot damage you get from Big Game Hunter, your scope gives you another 30% at all times. So we're getting 130% headshot damage from the Bighorn. Why not use our other attributes to get some crit on this build? Well, you get no crit chance mods from the Bighorn and no crit from Hunter's Fury. On top of that, you're only getting one attribute on each gear set piece. So it's just not efficient to try and squeeze crit onto this build. But that's not to say this is a headshot reliant build. Remember the 45% amplified damage from Hunter's Fury, the high base DPS from the Bighorn, and you're also going to be stacking raw damage on the Memento backpack. So it's not like your body shots are going to be tickling the NPCs. It's just that your headshots will melt them pretty damn fast. So on that note, let's look at Kill Confirmed on Memento. This gives you both a long-term and short-term buff from picking up trophies that drop from enemies that you kill. First off, the short-term buff lasts for 10 seconds and it stacks. It's also basically three buffs in one. Let's look at damage. We have four core reds on this build. 4 times 5% is 20%, meaning collecting a trophy gives you 20% damage for 10 seconds. Picking up additional trophies does not refresh the timer, but they do stack. For armor, you get 10% bonus armor, and that's the blue armor you see at the end of your armor bar for every blue core you have. On this build, I have three core blues, so that's 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. This alone provides insane survivability, but there's more. The long-term buff 
which lasts for five minutes, gives us 1% weapon damage and 0.1% armor regen per stack. Max stacks is 30 and picking up trophies does reset the timer. So basically, once you're at 30 stacks, you'll stay at 30 stacks until you die, fast travel, or take a five minute break. So that's 30% weapon damage and 3% armor regen. So let's recap. Up to 45% amplified damage from Hunter's Fury, plus over 50% weapon damage from Memento. Even with no crits, this build will still hit decently hard to the body. But of course, we're going to be gunning for the head because we can get well over 200% headshot damage with this build with Big Game Hunter built up. My pieces aren't optimized, so I could still squeeze a bit more damage and headshot damage onto this build. Also, keep in mind that my Big Horn is expertise level 20, so that's giving me a nice little boost to make up for the missing headshot damage. Regarding expertise, if you've got the materials and are looking to upgrade something, I'd highly recommend doing your weapons first, as the damage boost you get is much more significant than the armor boost from upgrading gear. Skills can also benefit a lot, but that really depends on the skill. On that note, the skills that I'm using on this build are a Reviver Hive and either a Scanner Pulse, Jammer Pulse, or Decoy. The Reviver Hive, just as a backup in case I find myself out of position, a decoy to draw some of the enemy fire, allowing me to play more aggressively and not have to rely on cover as much. A scanner pulse to give me intel on the enemy's location before engaging. And a jammer pulse for Black Tusk Robotics. You could also use a striker drone, shield, riot foam, basically whatever you want. This isn't a skill build after all. So onto the final piece, a Providence chess piece with Unbreakable. I'm using Providence for the 15% headshot damage, but of course a Hadsburg piece would accomplish the same thing. Unbreakable is such a good talent, giving you almost a full extra life again, just like the Reviver Hive, allowing you to play super aggro and not having to worry about getting dropped too quickly. But with the survivability from Hunter's Fury, Unbreakable may not be necessary for you, in which case you could throw on Intimidate or even Spark if you're using a Striker Drone. Both will give you a bit of extra damage. As for the attributes, I roll Headshot Damage of course, and also Handling to help with the recoil of the Bighorn. Finally, let's take a look at the specialization. I'm a huge fan of the Sharpshooter specialization for three reasons. The TAC-50 is the most fun specialization weapon, Flashbangs are amazing for initiating fights with groups of NPCs, and the 15% recoil control is great, especially for the Bighorn. Speaking of which, if you haven't used the Bighorn before, it would be beneficial to jump into the firing range and check out the exact recoil pattern and memorize it. Knowing where and when a gun's recoil pulls will make a huge difference with your aim. The Bighorn not only has a strong recoil, but it's also inconsistent, pulling in multiple directions. This is probably the main reason a lot of people don't use this gun, is because of the difficult recoil. For those of you who don't have the big horn and don't know where to get it, it drops on any legendary content including missions and summit. You can now also get it to drop in the dark zone, albeit the drop rate is extremely low and you'll need to extract it afterwards. Not the easiest gun to get, but in my opinion, well worth the effort. For Hunter's Fury, you can farm anywhere Hunter's Fury is target loot. You can check this on your main map, or you can jump into Summit or Countdown at any time and just set the target loot to Hunter's Fury. Same goes for the Memento Backpack and Providence Chess Piece. For your Chess Piece, always farm the brand set, in this case Providence, as opposed to the Chess Piece. So that's it, that's the build. If you're sitting there wondering, does Noob actually want us to believe that this is stronger than just running a Lady Death on a Hunter's Fury build? Of course not. The Lady Death will win every time. But if you actually want to become a better player with better aim, hitting more headshots while still feeling near unkillable, this is the build for you. 
I'm having so much fun with it right now in PvE, doing missions, countdown, and DZ landmarks. But maybe that's just me. I'm always trying to challenge myself and improve as a player. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I'm back on the Division 2, so many more educational and build videos to come. Hope to see you next time. Happy farming agents. So predictable. Kill them and beat the bird pit. Is that Kelso? My watch broke and I lost the car. Listen, I need you to cover me while I head for the balcony. Head down to the car for help. Thank God. Kelso, all right.
whatever you do, don't let them into the concert hall.